वेलकम बैक टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट मैक्सिमाइजिंग योर इफिशियंसी एंड टू हेल्प यू कॉन्कर योर टू डू लिस्ट सो वी हैव एन एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक टू डिस्कस विच विल ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन टू पॉपुलर टास्क मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेशन दैट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टू डू एंड गूगल टास्क सो इफ यू आर जगलिंग बिटवीन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टू डू एंड गूगल टास्क एंड स्ट्रगलिंग टू मैनेज एंड ऑर्गेनाइज योर टास्क वेल worry no more because we have got you covered in this video i am going to show you how you can seamlessly integrate microsoft to do with google tasks allowing you to add microsoft to do tasks directly into your google tasks automatically so we are going to set up this automation without any coding so stay tuned and let me show you how you can set up this automation To set up this automation, we are using Pabbly Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabbly Connect. You can find the link of this page in the description. And from here, you can sign up for free, and you will get free automation tasks every month. So, guys, sign up right now from the given link, and after that, sign in and select Pabbly Connect product, and you will reach the dashboard. And from here, you have to click on this Create Workflow button. Okay here you can give a suitable name to your workflow and then click on create so i have given the name here as microsoft to do to google tasks now click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here and on this page you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so guys trigger is that event which is going to kick start the workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response towards the trigger So when you click on this trigger field it it will ask to choose the trigger application so here we are going to choose microsoft to do as our trigger application so search for microsoft to do here you will find it right here just just select it and then you have to select the trigger event as new task then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with microsoft to do and it will bring you to this window so it might bring you to the login window if you are not logged in but i have already logged in in my two accounts so it is just asking me to select one of my account so i'm selecting one of my accounts okay and then you have to provide some additional access to your microsoft account so just click on uh, just check this box the consent and then click on accept button and you can see we are getting connected with microsoft All right so the authorization is successful and we are connected and here it is asking to select the list in which you have the tasks added so let me show you this is my microsoft to do application and this is a list i have named as asana tasks okay this is the list name so i'm going to select the same list here asana tasks okay and the last task i have created here uh, was this review announcement blog okay this was the title of this task this is overdue okay and i have created the due date was march 3rd okay so the last cre created task will be captured here when you click on save and send test request button okay so i can show you let us just create a new task here so guys i have added a new task here you can see named as new test task okay now let us capture the details of this task here i am clicking on save and send test request button okay and you can see the title new test task is captured here status is not started yet importance is normal and you can see it is in green category and here you can see the body of the task here is the body of the task okay now guys i want to add the same task into google tasks application so here so here in the section step search for google tasks so you will find google task here Okay here is google task select it then you have to select the action event as create task then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on sign in with google all right and from this window you have to choose that google account by which you have uh, in which you have installed the google task and we want to create a task there so i am selecting the google account in which i have added the google task now you have to provide some additional access to your account so just click on continue from here 
and you will be connected with Google Tasks in a few moments. Alright, so you can see we are connected and here it is asking to select the tasks list. So this is my Google task application and this is the task lists. And this is a list I have created named as Pavli team. So I'm going to select this list here. Okay, and here it is asking for uh, the task title, note and the due date. So I'm just going to map the data I have received here. Okay, and I'm going to map the labels here in this step. So to map the data, you just have to click here. The previous step will appear in the drop down, and when you click on it, you will find the data right here. So just map the title. Similarly, <coughs> map the notes. Okay. Uh, due date is not compulsory. You can leave it blank, or if you want to map it, you have to map it in this format. You can see. So if you have the date in this format, you can map it here. Now guys, you can check your connection with Google tasks by clicking on save and send test request button and a new task will be created here in this Pavli team list. Let us see. I'm clicking on save and send test request. All right. So this is the response we have received. Let us check here. And here you can see we have received a new task uh, in this uh, list here in Pavli team in Google task application. And when you open it, you can see the description is same. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, it will work automatically. Whenever you are going to create a new task in Microsoft to do, this trigger is going to check in every eight hours for new data. And if it finds the new data, the tasks will be sent to Google tasks automatically. And I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the rate You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.